Welcome to the Studio Files. Today I'm going to show you how to import audio in Pro Tools LE. To import, go up to the File menu and choose Import Audio. This brings up the Import Audio dialog box. Now in the top section here you can choose which files you'd like to import. Mine both happen to be on the desktop. Let's start with the first one. In this box, Pro Tools tells you some information about the file, including the length, the bit depth, the sample rate, things like that. If you go down to here, you'll notice there's four options, add, add all, convert, and convert all. The all buttons being for when you're importing more than one file at a time. Add will only be an option when the file you're importing is mono or dual mono and has the same bit depth and sample rate as your project. Be careful when using add though, because add does not copy the file into your project's audio files folder. With convert, it will convert the file into a dual mono file and copy the audio file into the audio files folder. Additionally, in this window, you can preview your track by clicking the play button. Now, if you're importing a file that has a different sample rate than your project, you can apply sample rate conversion. The project and the imported file both happen to be 44.1, so we don't need to do that. And just click done. Now Pro Tools is going to ask you where you'd like to put the file. It will always default to the audio files folder for your project and 99% of the time just leave it at that and hit choose. Now once it's done processing it'll ask you whether you want to place the file in a new track or in the regions list. For now let's put it in the regions list. You'll notice that the file has been added up here right in our regions list. Now we can choose to either add it to an existing track, or if we just drag it to the timeline, it'll be made on a new track. Now let's go back into the import audio window using shift command I. Now Pro Tools is looking in our audio files folder, but we know that the file is on the desktop. So I'm going to choose desktop. And to quickly import my other file, if I just double click it, Pro Tools automatically knows to convert it. Click done. Choose our audio files folder for its destination. And this time let's choose new track. And you can tell it whether to insert the track at the session start in your selection or where you spotted it. For now, let's just keep it at session start. And if we scroll to our session start, you'll notice that's where it's placed the audio. And that is a quick introduction to importing audio in Pro Tools. Mm -hmm.